Hi everybody! I want to shout out PG Green Paper. Thank you so much for bringing everybody here. That's the first time I've ever done a shout out because previously I've been uh, working on a like 10 year old MacBook and this week I streamed more than I have streamed <laughs> Uh, since April, because I was trying to make sure that I was getting everything going correctly. Audio is good, John. Awesome. Visuals confirmed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Ami. Um, welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Jill, Jill Nelchik, first time chatter. Hi, hi, hi. Havoc Rose, hi. Penguins Creative. Yes, I have an outline. This is the type of planner that I am, and it's due to my mother. Uh, hi everybody. Oh my gosh. The stream, uh, the chat is going by so fast, but I, I had computer issues this week. I had a, um, printer break. I had a computer kind of limp along and then I just decided to get a new computer. So over here I have a new HP Envy thing going on and for those of you that kept telling me, you know, you should stream from a, a Windows-based computer instead of a Mac, you guys are so correct, because I just plugged it in and everything's working. So, hi everybody, hi everybody. Okay, I have like 28 minutes and I tend to be long-winded. So, um, I did write a list of the things that I'm gonna be using for the year. And I, do this because of my mother. She writes everything down, types it, prints it, and puts it into a binder. So, um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you these two notebooks. These are two Foxy Fix notebooks, and they've what I've been using uh, since July. This one is like all personal planning with my university teaching and symphony schedule, opera schedule, all of that. And then this one I've been using for all things um, planning with John, um, like that type of a weekly planner, like here we are, here's my week in here. Um, and so I've moved back into the standard size this year and we are going to be keeping the standard size. Your tea and glaze. <laughs> <laughs> Cease to amaze me. Yeah, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like Job, where my hands get really sweaty, and this is what happens to him. So we're gonna keep into the same standard size, but I decided to pull out some notebooks that I have not used or hardly ever used. So you'll see, this is kind of a little. Um, giveaway <laughs> hands of Midas for leather <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be using one of my Pan Am Travelers notebooks I have two Pan Am Travelers notebooks and I'm going to be using one of them and it's gonna be this one uh, I got this one from oh, what was that shop the miscellaneous store when they first came out years and years and years ago and as you can see, it's hardly ever been used. It's blue, 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 blue. And I put this coin on it when I first got it and never used it. So I'm gonna use it this year and if I'm going with the Pan Am theme, since I have the Pan Am items, I might as well use my Pan Am stuff. So instead of one of the cloth zipper pouches, I'm gonna be using the um, Pan Am PVC one uh, because I've, you know, and I've got one of these cute little envelope cards. So it's gonna be, this is gonna be all plain themed because I want to travel again. Does everybody else want to travel again? Um, I've been like stuck in Oklahoma since COVID started, except for um, going to my 
brother's funeral last December. So it will be nice to travel again. So that's why I'm using this for positive forward thinking. I'm one of those people that stuck down those, hi Gaiden, stuck down uh, those pockets. So we're, we're going with it. But for my planning in here, for my calendars, I have been making my own calendars for years, since around 2015, 2016, because Traveler's Factory were hard to get in the United States, and if you were able to get them, they were expensive. So I started making my own calendars, and so this is my calendar for next year, and I printed it on 52 GSM Tomoe River paper, the old Tomoe River paper, because when it was going out, I decided to buy a lot of it. So I have like over a thousand sheets of Tomoe River paper in uh, various colors, in cream, in white, with dots, without dots. And so I printed this on the without dots. And so I have my 2023 monthly calendar. Hi, Florence. Hi, Live Life and Create. I see you. Um, so I have this, and Tomoe River paper is very fussy to print on, just to let you know. So it's it's just a simple month on two pages, Monday start. I did make a Sunday start for Mrs. G's, so she has that coming to her soon. So that will be my monthly planning. And then I I've been using the weekly, the week on a page. And so I have a week on a page with dot grid, and I've got it, again, printed on the same Tomoe River paper. Love the Pan Am. Me too, me too. Um, and so in each insert for the weeks, I have four months. So this is January through April. Then I have another one that is May, June, July, August. And then I have one that's September, October, November, December. And since it's on Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM, it does not take up that much space. It's very, very, very thin. Then I have a Traveler's Factory uh, folder with one of the old stickers. I actually did use one of the stickers. Um, actually, I think I've used all but one of them. And I've got some of their stickers in here from a calendar I bought years ago where the only thing I've ever used were the tabs. So I'm gonna try and use these stickers this year. Um, and I bought one of the inserts, the Pan Am grid inserts, and I used most of it, but what I decided to do last night is I decided to take the staples out Finish using up the grid paper that's in here. And I have some Traveler's Factory Midori, or you know, like the dot grid. And so I'm just going to, when I finish with this grid, take the dot grid and put it in here and just have this be like a rotating insert cover for my notebooks. Because you can't get these anymore. And they're so, so wonderful. So everything in here is going to be, even with the writing board, Pan Am. Um, I don't, that's all the Pan Am stuff I have. I don't have any of the pens. I do have some of the Pan Am washi tape, but other than that, this is going to be my personal planner. And with using the Tomoe River paper, I'll show you the difference in thickness. Last year, or last year, <laughs> last year meaning this year, I used like, 24 pound um, HP paper. And so just look at the difference in thickness, which this will help my scoliosis and it'll help my, my hip and my back having such a small planner instead of this chunker chunker. And one reason why this is also so chunky is it has these huge leather pockets. I love the leather pockets, but as you can see, I don't use them. So, we're slimming down everything in my planner. Yes, 
Yes, super, super chunk. And I love those pockets too, but I don't use them. So we're gonna get skinny this year, not just in our planners, but in our bodies. So that is my personal planner. Now, I decided to pull out one of my olives. I have two Olive Traveler's Notebooks and Pink Pearl, <laughs> excited for your slim version for next year. Me too. So this is one of the Olive Notebooks that we have. Um, the husband became vegan and so he doesn't use leather anymore. So all of the leather things that, yes, those with words, Olive, I know you use Olive. Um, so I decided to pull out one of the olives. This one I had used when I was learning Hebrew and uh, stuff like that. So I do have a Star of David on it, and but I never really used it. I used it maybe like once a week. Uh, so this is a very similar setup to my Pan Am. Um, instead of the uh, a plastic zipper pouch, I'm using one of the orange, one of the new orange ones. And I've, I've decided to put some Traver Traveler's Factory cards that I have in it because why not? Why not? Here, I'll put those there. Um, and, and the setup is pretty much the same. I have my Planning with John monthly calendar that I printed on Tomoe River paper which is nice and thin. That's the whole month, plus there's two pages of Doc Grid at the beginning, two pages between each month, and there's lots of Doc Grid at the back, probably like four to six pages. So for a monthly insert, that is so nice and slim. I love it. Uh, and then I have, again, another weekly calendar with the week on a page and Doc Grid, very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks, very similar to the, um, uh, there's a Traveler's Company one like this. Um, then I have a craft folder. Uh, one of my former students designed stickers, and this was one of their stickers. And then I have a grid notebook, one of my grid inserts that I printed on Midori MD paper. And the reason I, I put this in here is just because, you know, I had it and printed it, so I might as well use it. I'm not sure where I got this cute little fox. It might have been um, Keeley Reichman Designs, maybe. Um, and then I have my very first writing board that I got from Traveler's Company. Actually, back then it was under Midori. So this is going to be my planner for everything like planning with John. So like Patreon, um, YouTube, Instagram, here on Twitch, because I want to come back on Twitch. Um, my symphony schedule has been crazy lately, but I'm going to try to do at least, at least once a week. So that is my planner for all of that stuff. And again, just to show you the difference, here's the top view of my new one, and here's the top view of the one I've been using this year. And the only difference is this is Midori MD paper in Tomoe River paper, and this is uh, standard printer paper. Well, except I also have the um, sticker book in there. So this will probably go in here as well, but we're not there yet. So, so there is that. So these two Traveler's Notebooks are about the same size as one. So if I had to, if I needed to take both of them with me, it's only like I'd be taking one of these. So <laughs> yes, I'm slimming down my... Traveler's Notebooks. So there's that. Now, I am using a... This is an old Foxy Fix. It's the same leather as this one. Um, and it's gotten very shiny as well. And 
Uh, this is what I use for Patreon. And I've created a passport monthly calendar again. And I'll show you, here, I'll show you what they look like. Cover page, two pages of dot grid, a month on two pages. So your typical, you know, calendar. And in order to keep the squares big, if there's really like five weeks because like a Saturday, Sunday start for the month, I just put the last two days up there. Did you plan your content for today? Yes, kind of. <laughs> and then there's two pages of dot grid in between each month. And then at the very end, there's December. And then I think four, six pages of dot grid after that. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And this is just on, so you can see the difference. This is on HP, 24 pound printer paper. So it is quite thick. Um, so we're gonna put this in here. So I have a folder. This is an old Traveler's Factory folder, which I've got lots of different Traveler's Factory stickers on. And Apple stickers. And then I have a new blank watercolor insert that I made that I hand stitched. This is this year's monthly calendar, which like I made stickers for my patrons that are coffee mugs that are those Ray Dunn inspired mugs. Um, and then it has my it has plans, it has bills, it has washi tape in it. But this I printed on that Staples paper. Um, it's like, it's thin, it's thin paper. It's like 20 pound paper, it's very thin. I think they call it um, their pastel paper, but this is a cream color. And then I have a fake Midori zipper pouch. <laughs> and then this is a, I think it's an actual Midori. Yeah. It says Midori insert I'm finally using. And it is their sketch insert. And I started it a long time ago. Um, I actually started it before the 21st. Like these are from 2020, I think, the birds. I have tutorials on these on, oh, it says 2021, so I guess it was last year. I have tutorials on those on YouTube. And then I have a tutorial on that on YouTube as well. And then I just started using it to sketch for Patreon. And then I have a writing board in it, my first passport writing board that I bought. Okay, it's 19 after, so we got about 10 minutes. So there's that. I have a long list of things. Ah, I have here, this is an old Chic Sparrow. Uh, it's the Black Beauty Creme Leather. It is in the field note size. It was when she made them with the elastic out of the back and a single elastic. And it's actually quite a thick, thick, thick leather. Um, it's called Creme, and it still smells like it did when I got it. But I made my calendar in pocket size. So it's the same, it's got the dot grid, the month on two pages, dot grid, and then at the end, all of those pages of dot grid. So I've got that, here we'll just pop that in for next year. And I have a craft text folder from, yes, it's an OG, OG Chic Sparrow. Um, a craft text folder with like the little trackers that I use these I posted on a YouTube video about spend low, no spend, low spend two or three years ago that I used for tracking. And I just printed them on sticker paper and I can cut them out whenever I want to. And this is an old field notes. I think it was called the Two Rivers or Three Rivers. Um, and I've been using it since 2019 to track my monthly 
spending of stationery. And like here was last month. Here is this month. It is definitely not a no spend. Um, so I've got that in there. And then I have a, another one in here when that one gets finished. And then this is just a blank field notes. So that's what this one's for, is for no spend, low spend. Um, and something new this year is going to be this. The brand is Jubtik, and it is a budget planner. So I'm going to be using this to track. You can see it now because nothing's written in for, for next year. Um, it's going to track, you know, our financial goals, a strategy, and then like there's a month, a monthly view for to-dos, income, savings, and then your monthly budget and expense tracker. And then there's all of those pages for tracking your expenses. And then there's a monthly budget review and then ideas. And then you jump into the next month. So it has 12 months of that. And you can get it on Amazon. So it's, it's very affordable. And then at the end, there are... Wait, let me get to the end. Here we are. At the very end, there's like regular bill tracker for like, you know, your non-negotiables, like your rent and all of that type of stuff. There's a holiday spending budget and tracker. There's a debt tracker. Summary of your year. So you can see how things were month by month. And then a bunch of dot grid at the, at the back. So this is something new. In the previous years, I've tried an A5 Filofax. I've tried a, um, uh, a pocket rings, a personal rings, and none of them have worked. So I think having something like this will definitely work. So there's that. Um, we've got just a couple more things. Oh, I'm going to be using this again as my wallet. It is a Chic Sparrow Nano. When I got it, the leather was called buttered rum. It was like a undyed leather. And this is what it looks like after about three or so years of work. And again, that's from my hands, uh, from being in the out on the desk or in the sun. But like with all of them, like it, it, I keep the cards here, I keep cards and my COVID vaccination back here. And I have a planning with John, teeny tiny monthly calendar. Um, and so this is my 2022 20, one. And that little notes column fits a piece of washi tape perfectly. And so each month I put a different strip of washi tape down. Some of them functional, like there's jobs. Very cute. Um, and so I, again, of course, here is one for 2023. So when I'm done with this year, we can put next year in. And these are teeny, this is, this is called a nano, but I'm using a micro insert. So these are three wide by four tall. But the normal inserts for these are like two and a change by three and a change. I just make them so they fit it right to the edge. And this is perfect as a wallet. Um, you can put post-it notes. You can put your um, grocery list or whatever on a post-it note. Tack it in and away you go. But you can even see it has a single elastic in it. So I could put two of these size inserts in there and it fits. So if I wanted to put like a notes insert in there. So there's my wallet. Um, oh, I have two more things. I um, This is a Foxy Fix Rowena. I bought it, never used it, sold it to a friend, and then bought it back from that friend this year. It's this leather, the Rowena leather, 
But this is what happens. This is what it looks like when you never use it. This is what it looks like when you use it all the time. So hopefully this year, actually you can see it already starting to happen just from me rubbing my hand on it. It is going to become nice and shiny. It's the same leather that Chic Sparrow used to have that they called the Jitney Red. So it's the standard Midori size or what Foxy Fix called a number six. And this was their unique pocket design they had then. I know, Job, it's so, 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 so pretty. And, and so what I have in here are um, like my watercoloring insert for swatches. And that was a documented with Journey I did. Um, just for, you know, testing things. And then that one's filled. So I have a new one that I've started. Draw a pumpkin a day. Are you drawing your pumpkins every day? Um, and then here's, that was me in first grade. <laughs> um, I put that in there because I didn't know what to do with it, so I didn't lose it. Um, and then I have this Midori MD insert that I cut down. And I was using it to, to document streaming and all of that type of stuff. And then I have a, another zipper pouch in here with photos I've taken and printed. Um, some Simon from Coco Daisy. So that's what's in that. So that's going to house the things that I use. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and then I have, oh, how is this? I just don't have enough time. I have this little pocket size notebook that I'm using for like art journaling stuff. And this is what I'm using for the, um, Draw your pumpkin a day. Yes, the next stop is Job's journal, and he's coming live soon. And I've got one more, one more to show. And it is a B6 print pression where I have a lined insert that I'm gonna use for like personal journaling, a watercolor insert I made, and then a new sketchbook because I filled up my last one. Okay, there, I made it. I made it through everything. So, and I'll, I'm going to be making a YouTube video of this for definitely sure. Um, you're still good on time, John. Okay, I was just, I was worried. I was panicking. I'm going to make a YouTube video of this so it can be a little less panicky for me and a little bit more, more chill. Um, so, yeah, so those are the things that I'm using next year. Um, I know it is a lot. Um, here, let me do like what everybody else has done. Uh, and I'm not in these every day. Here, wait, let me get that out of the way. I'm not in these every day. It's a, um, as need be. <laughs> there. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be using next year. <laughs> Um, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So is, let's see, we've got just a few minutes left, or actually no, like a few seconds left. Okay, so the Techo Kaigi train is going to be heading over to Job. Is Job ready? Um, I, I can't see, let me... Let me, let me, because I don't want to. Okay, Job is live. So I'm such, I haven't done this in such a long time. So I wrote down everything that I needed to do because I didn't want to mess it up. Okay, raid, and then it's Job's journal. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. And let's go over to Job. Let's see if this works. Okay, it looks like it is taking everybody there. There's 70 plus people and we are heading on our way to Job. Don't, uh, we don't have trains in Oklahoma, but if we did, make sure that you are seated and locked in so you make it to the next destination. Okay.
See you there.